All right, welcome everyone. Start of a new break week here on this Monday night. We have got a handful of breaks coming up this evening. We'll be working on some multi-sport jerseys, a little Court Kings basketball, a little Tier 1 baseball. Uh, before we actually get started ripping, though, as always, there is some information to go over. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that while everybody's getting in the room here and getting settled. So feedback is automated on eBay. Anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you are instantly going to get the same in return. And of course, without waiting, right? So that's the win-win of that. We, uh, we Nobody likes to wait. And then, of course, the other thing there is to say thank you. I always appreciate it when you join me for breaking and, uh, of course, chatting and bidding and all that fun stuff. We are taking a look next at what's coming up in the days ahead. So tomorrow night, it'll be a 12-box case of Diamond Kings baseball. So that's an inner case. But listen, an inner case is still just a 12-box case. Panini takes two of those, they put them in a bigger box, and they call it a master case. So, yeah, it's a 12-box case of Diamond Kings. On Wednesday, we have uh, a new release coming out. That's clearly authentic baseball. We will break a 20-box case of that. We're also going to break three boxes of Sage Aspire football. Be sure and read the description on that one. It looks pretty pretty good this year it's got they've got rookie deals with a lot of the top players there's guaranteed autograph of one first round quarterback one first round defender one first round wide receiver and one additional first round pick in every box plus there's a chance at a dual autograph of drew Brees and uh, joe burrow and some other fun stuff in there and then we're going to break a loose single box of national treasures basketball all on wednesday night Thursday night, we're going to dive back into Prism Baseball, and we will finish the case that we started a couple days ago. On Friday night, we've got a lot of stuff coming out Friday night. We're going to open all of it. It is going to take quite a bit of time, so we start a little bit early at 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific, and the auctions also will start ending, of course, much earlier than normal. They'll start to end around 6.15, 6.30 Eastern on Friday. It will be a full case of Valiant Baseball, a 12-box, uh, once again, inner case of Legacy Football, and a 6-box jumbo case of Series 2 Baseball. In Legacy and Series 2, Veteran Base does not ship to the teams. It is a separate betting, betting category. Bidding? Whoo! It is a separate bidding category in both cases. Huh, I got it out that time. And, of course, all that information you can see in the listing description as well. Then both Saturday and Sunday night will be off night. So that's what we're looking like in the days ahead. Here's what you need to know about what we are opening tonight. So the autographed jersey break, that'll be first. Court Kings basketball is second. Tier 1 baseball will be our third break of the evening. All of these are fairly quick breaks, so don't wander too far off if you're in Tier 1. You know, it's not going to take us too terribly long to get through those first two. Now, shipping. For the multi-sport autographed jerseys, if you are lucky enough to hit one of those three jerseys, it will be out the door and on the way to you no later than a week from today. Free shipping stuff is always just projected to ship somewhere within a seven-day window after the break ends. And um, if you get skunked in the jersey break meaning you do not hit the jersey. You are still entitled to a consolation card. It can be from any year in any series. It's just a loose random trading card for your team or teams, or in this case, letter that doesn't hit. Now, ooh, I got to sneeze, man. Ooh, sorry, hang on. <coughs> Excuse me. Did it in my elbow, though, so no worries. Nothing nasty to touch my hands. Um, so, what was I saying to you? Oh, right. <laughs> so, on the consolation card, normally I would hang on to that and send it with your next package just because it is a free shipping break. But if you want it sent sooner and you don't hit in that jersey break, you need only send me a message on eBay to let me know and I will happily get that taken care of for you. The paid shipping breaks tonight, which are Court Kings and Tier 1, should be out the door and on the way to you by Friday. As always, if I can get something out sooner than the date you see there, I will gladly do so. And if something is unexpected uh, thrown into my week, it could go a day later. That's why it always says plus or minus a day. 
And if you get skunked in Court Kings or Tier 1, meaning you do not pull a card of any sort at all, you will still get a package in the mail and it will have consolation card or cards in it. It will go out when the rest of the break gets out the door since they are paid shipping breaks. All right. So first up tonight, we have a three box break of Gold Rush multi-sport autographed jerseys. Of course, everything we're opening tonight into tonight on eBay, which is Monday night, the 22nd of June. And these, of course, go by the first letter of the name on the jersey. Okay, so a Brady would go to the B's. Ichiro would go to the I. Um, Burrow would go to the B. Williamson, Zion Williamson would go to the W's because the jersey would say Williamson, etc. You'll also see down at the bottom something that says any multi-sign jersey. That is because we do have the option in here of pulling some multi-sign jerseys. And because they have lots of names on them, you can't always read the names. It doesn't always tell us adequately who those names are. Uh, I've always done that with Gold Rush products where we just break out the multi-signed items separately. So if we were to hit one of those, it would go to that spot. Once again, of course, all that uh, written out in the listing description for your reading pleasure. Last little piece of business, you see that your background is getting a little bit blurry. It's out of focus. That's on purpose. Don't worry about that. We're still going to be able to see everything that we need to see. Strong Crosby's here saying happy Monday. Happy Monday to you, my friend. How are you? You've got the multi-signed in here tonight, actually, don't you? Didn't I just see your name up there? I think I did. I think that is you tonight. Yeah, Gold Rush always has some nice multi-signed stuff in there. So you never know if we're going to hit it or not, but it is good stuff. This is, this looks like some kind of a Star Trek jersey. <laughs> is that? I don't know what, I don't know what this is, man. It, right? That's a Star Trek shirt, isn't it? And then there's that. And then, um, <laughs> I may have to go look up. I don't know who this is. Is it any other paperwork in here? No. And is there anything on the back? I think this is literally like a Star Trek shirt of some sort. Yeah, there's nothing on the back. There's just there's just a Star Trek logo and the and the autograph. So we're literally gonna have to go look this up to see who signed this because I don't know. So um, I'm gonna go look it up right now on my iPad on that website. Oh, somebody says it's gonna be Shatner. That's gonna be William Shatner. All right. Well, that's good to know. Um, you know me. I'm still you know gonna go to the website just to. Make sure I totally trust you guys are right about it, but that's just how I am. I'm just that way. So seeing as how um, this is your all's money and things, uh, yeah, we want to get it done right here. All right, so what's our number? WPP. All right. 7669. Verify. Yep, William Shatner uh, signed Star Trek uniform. It was signed on 10, 13, 10, 11. Oh, no, I'm sorry. October 11th through the 13th of 2019 in Chantilly, Virginia. Okay, so, um, well, this would go to um, S for Shatner then. Or William Shatner or S for Star Trek. <laughs> really, it would go to S for Shatner because that's who signed it, but just not coincidentally, it is also S for Star Trek. So, all righty. So, that is actually a pretty cool hit as I look over there and see some of you guys said that too. It is pretty cool. You don't see a lot of William Shatner signed stuff. So, you know, Gold Rush always puts in some interesting things. Their literature always says, look for some surprises. Well, I'd say that was one, wouldn't you? This is going to be PSA DNA certified. And you know what? Did that Shatner have a sticker on it? We'll have to look at that again in a minute. Because uh, here is your PSA DNA certification sticker on this. There is your signature up there at the top. And it is, ooh, it's an authentic Major League Baseball jersey. You can see the authentic MLB logo there. Russell going out. Uh, I started to say going to the Cubbies, but it's not. It's going to the letter R because, again, that's the name on the jersey. Russell. 
So the R's and the S's so far tonight. With one to go. And survey says, looks like a Redskins jersey. And there is your JSA certification. I'm guessing Dwayne Haskins. There is your um, JSA sticker up there at the top. Your signature is down there at the bottom. And it is um, not, in fact, um, Dwayne Haskins. James. So I guess is that Derwin James? I don't know. But anyway, goes the letter J. All right. So James... Certified by PSA DN, or I'm sorry, by JSA on this one. Stickers there, your signature there, and your JSA paperwork there. So that one to the letter J. So I was right, it is Derwin James. Okay, cool. On a Florida State jersey. Oh, I should have recognized those colors. Yeah, collegiate. But hey, I got the player right, so that counts for something, right? PSA DNA certified on this one. There's your paperwork. And this is an MLB authentic jersey. I don't know why the camera is bleeding out so much tonight. Not wanting to show this very well, is it? I keep having to move it around. R for Russell. And your PSA DNA signature at the bottom. Got one more here. And this is our William Shatner, which we did look up in verify online his JSA certified but you know I don't think there's a JSA sticker on this thing is there a tag or any oh it's on the tag where the tag would be ah that's what I wanted to know so there's your JSA certification that's the important part and then of course your Star Trek logo and your William Shatner signature I will fold these back and they'll be all folded better when you get them let me get this out of the way, and then we'll move on down the line here. Give me one second. All right, so that was fun. I always like doing multi-sport stuff because well i mean there's all kinds of stuff in there you never know what you might find in those court kings basketball is coming up next and here's what it looks like so if you missed this a minute ago if you hit the jersey you're going to get it sometime within the next seven days it'll leave here within the next window of the next seven days because it's a free shipping item if you didn't hit the jersey your consolation card typically held to ship with your next package. If you want it sent sooner by itself, send me a message on eBay and I'll take care of it for you. Paid shipping breaks, Court Kings and Tier 1 both coming up. It should be out the door and on the way approximately Friday, give or take a day. And if you don't hit in Court Kings or Tier 1, any consolation card or cards that you are due will ship out when the rest of the break goes out the door because it is paid shipping break. So everybody's going to get... A little package with something in it it is an eight box uh, which is a half case quantity of loose boxes so a half case quantity break it is break number two of court kings also ended tonight on ebay monday night the 22nd of june you'll find your team names on the left hand side winning bitter user id is up in light to cross from each team there on the opposite side and tier one will be coming up next so if you're here for Tier 1, I'm going to say you probably got, I don't know, 20 minutes maybe, give or take 5 in either direction, but somewhere in that general vicinity, we should be coming up on some Tier 1. But first things first, we got a little Court Kings to take care of. And our Court Kings, of course, is a one pack per box product, so we're going to get all packs out of here first. And um, USA Texas, uh, hi, by the way, that was you telling me earlier on the Derwin James that it was a Florida State jersey that was signed there for the Seminoles. And so hi to you. I don't think I said hi earlier. I, I acknowledged your comment, but I failed to welcome you. So welcome. 
And hi to James as well. He jumped in there and so did Charles. And uh, Game of Breaks joined us along the way too. And Joshua, did I say hi to you earlier, Joshua? I might have said hi to you earlier when I was uh, saying hi to Strong Crosby, but I'm not certain. So in case I didn't, now I did. Yeah, now our bases are covered. All right, let's see what we can find in the Little Court Kings tonight. Tell you what, Court Kings used to be <laughs> a product you could get pretty easily, and you could get a lot of it. Boy, it hadn't been that way the last two years. Of course, the last two years, anything basketball is just like a brick of gold, isn't it? I mean, you got to pay for it like you're buying a brick of gold, too. Man alive. They just scalp you. Ah, Joshua, it's your first time with us. Well, welcome. Glad to have you. Which break are you in tonight, Joshua? Hopefully we'll have some luck for you, maybe. We're going to try. We'll try to have luck for everybody, of course. But, you know, sometimes beginner's luck is a thing, right? Sometimes. I think it is. We get a few sleeves out on the table here, and then we are going to see what we can find. Hopefully, something awesome. That's going to be the goal. We only want awesome things. <laughs> Isn't that right? Um, all right, did I bring all the base forward? I guess I did. So we're going to just take a look at everything here for a moment. We'll see lots of these inserts. Probably they are called points in the paint, and they generally come out pretty frequently. That particular one is for uh, Trey Young there and the Atlanta Hawks. And we've got Apprentice Artist, another insert we'll see a fair amount of. It's DeAndre Hunter, and that is also the Hawks. The third insert that we see, it is Brandon Clark for the Grizzlies. And you'll see it's a level two. There are different levels of these, I guess. One, two, three, and four. I think four is the most rare, and one is the most common. Isn't that right? I think it's, I think it's that way. <laughs> and we've got a few base cards. Um, we've got a rookie card here, Samanich for the Spurs and a little rookie Admiral Schofield out for the Washington Wizards. An insert for Maestro is the card set. It is numbered to 149 for the Golden State Warriors. And you've got Steph Curry on the front of it. And it looks like our hit is going to be Frank Jackson for NOLA. It is numbered to 179. So it's the, the team is probably uh, going, yeah, yay, we got a hit. But they're also probably going, oh, wait, I wanted that to be Zion. We understand that. Number to 149, you have a Nasir Little coming out for the Portland Trailblazers. That one, of course, is a hard signed on-card autograph. You can probably tell that from the camera, most likely. Game of Breaks, you're looking for the SSP Kobe White. All right, let's try and do it. Um, Charles, these are loose boxes, so we don't know if there's going to be a case hit in here or not. So, yeah, guys, that's why I always make sure to make it clear in the listing description when we are talking about loose boxes because it doesn't necessarily mean that we'll have the case hit. We might have it. We could have more than one of them, but we might not have any of them. So that is always the risk you run on the loose box stuff. That is a Russell Westbrook for the Houston Rockets with a Maestro insert. Next up for the Bulls, it is a First Steps, Kobe White. So we got your player, but not exactly the card you wanted. But we're working our way to it, aren't we? So an Admiral Schofield, that one is level four coming out for the Washington Wizards. Then we've got a little base here for the Bulls with Markinen and more for the Bulls with Zach Levine. Some portraits. It is Cam Reddish. That's level one, of course, you can see over there uh, for the Hawks. And there's good old Taco Fall. He's also level one for the Celtics. 
And there's another uh, points in the paint. This one's numbered, though, to 149. You have got the Greek freak, Giannis Antetokounmpo, out for the Milwaukee Bucks. Hit number one from this box brings us to the Pacers and Justin Holiday, numbered to 179. And behind that is a B.J. Armstrong, numbered to 49 for the Bulls. So again, we got the Bulls, but not the player you want exactly. So I'm kind of dancing around it, aren't I? Oh boy, I'm going to butcher your name. Is it Bojan? I'm sure I pronounced that wrong, and I'm super sorry about that. <laughs> but I'm really, really bad with pronouncing names incorrectly, so I'm sorry about that. But welcome, and Tier 1 is next to answer your question. Zach Levine and the Bulls. There's an apprentice artist, Cody Martin, for the Hornets. Followed by a little Darius Garland for the Cavaliers. That one a level two. A couple of base cards, the Nuggets and the Mavericks. Actually, three base cards and the Grizzlies. Now we've got a few portraits to take a look at. That is Darius Garland, level one for the Cavaliers. A Maestro insert for the Clippers with Kawhi Leonard. It is numbered to 149. And I got all hyped up for a second because I saw that Pelicans logo and I saw the back of the card and I thought we had it. Oh, New Orleans, you're dancing all around it. This time you get Nikhil Alexander Walker. It is numbered to 179. It is an Art Nouveau relic. How about this little Kobe White autograph? Mm-hmm. You liking this one? Maybe. Maybe. I'm thinking so. Number to 149, the Chicago Bulls. Some Kobe White ink. Hard signed on card. Not too shabby. Game of Breaks said, too bad that wasn't Rue Hachimura a minute ago. I know, I know. Maybe we're going to find him still yet, though. We're going to try to find him. There's Doncic on a points in the paint for the Mavericks. Apprentice artist for the Grizzlies. And this is a, a Ja Morant insert, unnumbered. Followed by a... I thought I had two cards, but I guess I don't. A Cody Martin level two for the Hornets. We've got some base for the Magic and the Nuggets. And then we're going to get into our portraits. Golden State Warriors and a level one for Pascal. There's PJ Washington for the Hornets, also a level one. A Maestro for the Pelicans. There's a Zion insert at least it's not autographed but it is numbered to 149 so we'll take it and the pacers another justin holiday what are the odds i mean truly in loose box break to hit two justin holidays is odd isn't it still 179 going to the pacers Keldon johnson and the spurs and it's a one of one let's go get it a case Hold, please. Yes, I like my little one of ones. It does look like we've got a couple of things going on. You can see a little bit of white right there on the um, edge, kind of where my finger is. So there's a little bit of chipping or something right there. And ditto on the corners. There's some minor stuff. It's not massive, but it is uh, a little bit there. So... Oh, it's pronounced with a Y. See, I told you I'd butcher it. <laughs> so it's Boyan. Sorry. Sorry. I'm really terrible at that. I don't, I just, I shouldn't even be allowed to pronounce names. I apologize, my friend, but welcome. Nice to have you, even though I did totally butcher your name. Um, and I don't know that that is seated in there quite right. Let's, let's uh, reseat that a moment. I think that's a little better. Yeah, that looks a little more even, doesn't it? 
All right, so there it is, a Keldon Johnson error apparent one of one for the San Antonio Spurs. Hard signed on card autograph, of course. And onward we go. Game of Breaks says Court Kings is much better this year. I would agree with that. I do think they've made some improvements to it. I've I've kind of always liked Court Kings, but I've just always thought maybe they should have a few more hits or a little more juice in their hits, if you will. And I do think you're, they do have a little more juice, so I think that's probably as much as anything what you're referring to, I imagine. The Pistons and D-Rose. And, ooh, look at that, kids. That is a case hit in our loose boxes. Aren't we happy? And it heads to the Clippers, Kawhi Leonard. And again, I don't know that Panini calls those case hits. I think they call them ultra rare cards because Panini very seldom guarantees anything. They always like to say everything is on average, quote unquote. So it's an unofficial case hit. A level four Cameron Johnson. So Cam for the Phoenix Suns. We have got base for the Knicks and the Pelicans and the Cavaliers. Portraits. I see Tyler Hero on the horizon. Miami Heat, level one. A points in the paint, Steph Curry, numbered to 149, Golden State Warriors. And the Spurs. This is probably going to be another Art Nouveau relic, although it is numbered to 25. The plot thickens. Uh, Samanich. Oh, because it's a nice looking relic for the Spurs. Oh, I do like that relic. You don't often see multicolored relics for the Spurs, so I gotta say that's pretty good. I like that one. Okay, Tremont Waters, number 225, the Boston Celtics, hard signed on card autograph. And behind that, Al Farouk Aminu. And it is numbered for the Magic to 99 for Al Farouk Amino. Closing in on it, we've got three left. You said they, um, you like the art better and they have more on-card art autographs. Yeah, and they should, right? I mean, they, they've been doing too many stickers in general in recent years, I think in all their products. DeAndre Hunter for the Hawks, and that was an art, an apprentice artist. A maestro, Russell Westbrook and the Rockets. And there comes Keldon Johnson for the Spurs. That is a level three. I think that's our first level three we've seen tonight. And there's the Greek Freak for the, bo uh, the Bucks. Aaron Gordon for the Magic. Another Tyler Hero portrait, level one. A Ja Morant portrait coming out for the Grizzlies, also a level one. Colin Sexton comes out next, and Colin is numbered to 149. Then we have Thon Maker numbered to 179. And that's for the Pistons. And good old Lugans Dort. And that is the Oklahoma City Thunder numbered to 179. And that, it looks like it's on card, but I felt across it there's definitely a sticker there. It doesn't look like there is, but there is. Just because it blends into the background. Hey, Benrod, how's it going? I haven't seen you in a while. How are things? How's the new regiment working? Is it, are you having some progress? The Maestro, Carl Anthony Towns, and the T-Wolves. Then we've got an Aurora. This is another rare uh, kind of hit. And on it, you have the Lakers and Shaquille O'Neal. Of course, you've heard the scuttlebutt about the Lakers, right? Everybody's, uh, there's a rumor going around. We don't know if it's true or not, but that they have been practicing on somebody's private basketball court up in Bel Air, like as a team practicing when, you know, you're not supposed to be doing that right now. 
There's a level two Jarrett Culver for the T-Wolves. De'Aaron Fox for the Kings. Ben Simmons, the Sixers. And DeAndre Ayton for the Suns. So if that turns out to be the case, and then the Lakers do well and advance the playoffs, oh, you know there's going to be a bunch. You know that's going to rear its ugly head again. Eric Pascal, Warriors level one. A Zach Levine out numbered to 149 for the Chicago Bulls. Then we have Grant Williams. This is numbered to 25 for the Boston Celtics with another good-looking relic out of there. So the relics have definitely improved in Court Kings this year. That's for sure. Wesley Matthews, the Milwaukee Bucks, and it is numbered to 99. And then we have Eric Strickland, numbered to 99, for the Boston Celtics. All righty. Oh, you guys are it's staying with the current thing. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. I hate to hear that. She's still, because she just got it Friday. At, yeah, I mean, at the unfortunately, it's because it's cumulative. The longer you do the regimen, it definitely kicks your rear a little more uh, and takes longer to recover afterwards. So I am sorry to hear that. I, I hope it's working, though. That's the important part. For the Bulls, it is Kobe White with a maestro insert. Then we've got points in the paint with Kevin Love and Cody Martin. He's been all over the place tonight. That is a level two for the Hornets. Some base for Russell Westbrook and Bradley Beal for the Wizards. I forgot to say it, but this is last box, so we're trying to get a little last box mojo magic out here as well. Cam Reddish, level one for the Hawks. Here's another Taco Fall level one for the Celtics. A De'Aaron Fox for the Kings. It is numbered to 149. We've got an autograph upon us here, numbered to 99, and it is headed to Boston, D. Brown. And the last autograph we were holding on to, it is to 149 Portland Trail Blazers, Nasir Little. All right, so there's the break. Let's do the recap so that we know what we've got. We'll take a little peek. I tell you what, though, for loose boxes, we hit, I think, pretty well out of there in general. I mean, I know not everything everyone wanted, obviously, but as a whole, I think, yeah, we did pretty well on that. Okay, we'll start with our numbered cards. That is the Kings. It is numbered to 149. Next up, the Bulls to 149. Then kind of a, an ultra rare, as Panini likes to call them, the Clippers and Kawhi Leonard. Sort of an unofficial case hit type deal. Uh, again here with the Lakers and Shaquille O'Neal with Aurora. And Colin Sexton and the Cavaliers to 149. Steph Curry and the Warriors to 149. There's that nice little numbered Zion Williamson. Wish we had found some ink, but at least we did get that. Numbered to 149. For the Clippers, Kawhi Leonard, 149. The Bucks to 149 with the Greek Freak. And Steph Curry and the Warriors to 149. So those are our numbered inserts that do not have autographs or uh, relics attached to them. Now for the rest of the story. Our autographs. Nasir Little, hard signed, on card, 149, the Blazers. D. Brown, that is uh, numbered to 99 for the Celtics. Celtics again with Strickland, numbered to 99. And the Milwaukee Bucks with Wesley Matthew to 99. An Art Nouveau relic for the Celtics to 25. And then you have Dort, Lugans Dort, numbered to 179 for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Thonmaker and the Pistons to 179. 
Al Farouk Amino out for the Magic, numbered to 99. And then you've got a nice little Tremont Waters to 25 uh, for the Celtics. Good-looking relic for the Spurs. And that is Art Nouveau to 25. And we've got an autograph here for Justin Holiday to 179 for the Pacers. Sweet little Kobe White hit, hard signed on card, 149 Chicago Bulls. An Art Nouveau for the Pelicans, Nikhil Alexander-Walker to 179. B.J. Armstrong, Chicago Bulls, numbered to 49. Justin Holiday and the Pacers, numbered to 179. That was a bookend of Justin Holiday. Here's our second Nasir Little autograph for tonight. It is a different card set, however, and it is numbered to 149, also hard signed on card. Followed by Frank Jackson for Nola to 179. And then this fellow. Yeah, we got a little one of one. I like that. It's Keldon Johnson, hard signed on card for the San Antonio Spurs, one of one. Did have some little minor imperfections. There's a spot of chipping on an edge and uh, on, on the corners that we pointed out when we pulled it. But still, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. It's a pretty sweet little hit, right? I think it is anyway. Okay, let's get ourselves into a little tier one. My cats are down there fighting. Can you hear that? I don't know why nobody is like intervening to make them stop, but... Apparently, I don't know, they're letting them go. So, yeah, that's what you hear. Uh, <laughs> let me see where we stand on this. There was an unpaid team when we started. Let's see if that person has paid or not for Tier 1. And if they haven't, we'll have their team available, which, of course, they haven't because you could just look at it and tell when they don't pay by the break and they don't answer your messages. Yeah, they usually don't pay you. So we have got the Chicago Cubs here in Tier 1 that need to find a home. Looks like they sold on eBay for $56. So looking for something in that general vicinity. I need to update the spreadsheet to reflect that they are unpaid. So give me a second to do that, please. And uh, if anybody's interested, jump into chat and let me know, please. It's been... I don't know. We've been on a bad run lately of unpaid stuff. Yeah, one guy stiffed me for 100 bucks the other night, and I didn't move any of his teams. Of course, he never paid. He had hits, too. Had quite a few. Autographs and everything. Just never paid. <laughs> like, what is wrong with people? I don't even know. But they like to, like to give me grief sometimes. Um, alrighty. So, um... It is not a full case, no. It is a half case of loose boxes tonight. And um, let's see if I get this right. Boyan? Boyan? Boyan. <laughs> I'm still just butchering it. I know I am. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so they sold, it looks like, for 56 So I'm looking for something kind of in that neighborhood. Obviously, shipping not charged on something like this. When we have to move it in chat, shipping is included. So no extra there. Um, and obviously we don't have to deal with tax or anything because you're just sending it off to me that way. So if somebody is interested, we'll jump in there and let me know, please. And as soon as we find a little home uh, for the Cubbies, we can get cracking here on Tier 1. And um, Boyan, it sold. Or Boyan, it sold. I'll get it in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it sold for 56 on eBay. So I'm saying throw out a number somewhere in the vicinity. It looks like we have an offer for 40 and then Raymond has come in with an offer of 45. So at the moment we're setting at 45. So if anybody else wants it, um, let me know. Right now it's sitting with Raymond at 45 at this at this moment in time. So give me a second here. I'm going to go ahead and get it canceled out on eBay. And then um, as soon as I get that done, we'll go ahead, Raymond, and get you set up with it. Unless somebody jumps else in there. Which it looks like Boyan just did in there at 50. So our current bid is at 50 at the moment. And let me get this canceled out on here. And all right. That 
part's almost done. Yay, we're making progress. And, oh, Ben Rudd, I saw you just jump in there, and it looks like um, Boyan just beat you on my side. He came in first, Raymond, and then came in his message saying 50, and then came in you saying 50. So right at the moment, because he came in first, the bid is with him. Um, if you, if you want to do anything. Oh, you can't see any other chat. That's weird. I don't know why, but hang on. I'll show you. I'll show you in a second. But I don't know why it won't let you see everybody else. It's super weird. Give me one second to clean up on my side here. I'm just getting it all um, situated on my side. All right. Yeah, see? I can. Can you see that? There. Now you can see, like, the order that it pops up on my side. I know sometimes it pops up differently on your guys' side, especially if you're the person that typed in the comment. You're going to see it first, but of course I can only go by what I see on my side. Um, all right, so all right, so Ben Rudd, you're in at 52. The bid is with you at the moment then. If there's anybody else that wants in now, is the time. Speak now or forever hold your peace kind of sitch because we're getting ready to drop the hammer and call this done. Uh, all right, so is there anybody else? Are we good? Oh, you selected yours as top chat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they made that change a while ago. It's weird, right? So you have to kind of um, have to click on that part that says live chat these days. All right. He says it's all yours. So thank you both uh, for jumping in, in there and your willingness to pick it up. And it looks like we are um, going here to Ben Rudd. And I have just typed in my... PayPal email info for you, and if you would be so kind as to uh, jump in and send that over and let me know when you got it squared away, I would appreciate you very much. So while you are doing that, sir, I am going to come over here and get us caught back up to speed. All right, so most of you probably have heard this by now, but for the odd person who might not have, here's how it rolls. If you hit one of the jerseys tonight, it'll be shipped to you sometime within the next seven days. Free shipping breaks always just go out within a seven-day window. If you didn't hit in the jersey, um, any your consolation card, which you are entitled to, single, random, used trading card for your team if you didn't hit in that free shipping break. Typically, I'm going to hang on to it, send it with your next package just because it is free shipping. But if you want it sent sooner by itself, send me a message on eBay and I will do that for you happily. Our paid shipping breaks tonight, Court Kings, we just finished up. Tier 1, we are about to embark upon. And uh, by the way, this was mistakenly assigned as break number 1 on eBay. I stupidly in my head just thought, oh, it's the first time we've done a half case, and I called it number 1, and I really should have called it break number 3, even though the other two were full cases. This is technically the third time we've broken Tier 1. But anyway, that's the deal. That's what's coming up. Should be out the door and on the way to you approximately Friday. As always, that's plus or minus a day. Week goes well, goes out a day sooner. Week goes terribly, goes out a day later. If you get skunked or got skunked in Court Kings or Tier 1, meaning you didn't pull a card of any sort, you are still going to get a package in the mail. It will have consolation card or cards in it. It will ship out when the rest of the break goes out the door because it is a paid shipping break. So this is a six-box half-case break of 2020 Tier 1 Baseball. Ended tonight on eBay, 622, Monday night. Team names on the left-hand side, winning bidders cross from each team. And you'll see there uh, the Cubbies, which were purchased on eBay but unpaid there, were sold by second chance here to uh, Ben Rudd. So those belong to him. And everybody else, you're going to see your eBay username uh, up in lights there across from your team. All right, so there we go. <laughs> he says he knows he remembers my eBay name. I kind of thought you might, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to presume that, but I definitely um, thought that you might remember it. So we're gonna try to have some really good luck for you tonight, though. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna try to have some mojo for everybody, of course. But I always like to uh, always like our people who are nice enough to 
step up. I've got myself on the wrong screen. I can't see what I'm doing. Kind enough to step up and pick up these unpaid teams. I always uh, have a special little mojo wish there. So hopefully that will come true for us tonight. Joey needs the Mets. And for a little New York. And are we going to get baseball this year? I mean, for real. <laughs> Every time the Players Association, they finally start getting the stuff they've asked for. You know, they wanted 100%. Well, they got 100%. They wanted more games. Well, they got more games. And everything they ask for, they somehow eventually have gotten most of it. And then they still reject the offers. So I just don't think they want to play. I really don't. I think their whole deal is they just want to keep what salary they've already been paid, keep their year of, um, you know, their year of service time, which was negotiated in that original agreement, which not for nothing is worth a lot of money to some of those guys and ultimately will be worth a lot of money to most of them. And I don't think they want to play. I really do not. And this is, so they're just dragging it out and rejecting everything. And pretty soon they're just going to run out of time on the calendar. There'll be nothing, no time left to play anyway. So, I don't know. All right, you need the Astros in here. Yeah, well, I don't know, Boyan, if they are going, or Boyan, if they are going to manage to get 60 games in or not. I mean, they rejected that latest proposal today, so... Um, if unless Manford mandates at 60 games, uh, pretty soon they're going to run out of calendar. So the first one we see is Vlad Guerrero Sr., right? That's nice. It is numbered to 25, and it is for the Montreal Expos. Now, most of you probably know this already, but on the off chance that you don't, the former Montreal Expos are the current Washington Nationals. And cards always stay with their franchise. So um, that, of course, any Expos cards that we get go to the Nationals. This is the Milwaukee Brewers. It's Josh Hader with a Tier 1 relic there, a base relic, numbered 395. And behind it, we have got Gio Urshela for the Yankees. Maybe some minor corner and edge stuff, which... Honestly, we'll probably see throughout, and that's for the Yankees to 395. Paul DeYoung, numbered to 299, going to the St. Louis Cardinals. And you know, Joey, about your Mets, um, what do you think about, <laughs> about uh, A-Rod and J-Lo trying to buy the Mets? Doesn't that seem a little bit weird? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's not that you just so heavily associate Rodriguez with the Yankees, and now he wants to go buy the Mets. It's like, uh, I don't know if I want that Yankees guy buying the Mets. That's how I would feel. Of course, I'm a Reds fan myself, so this makes me happy. It's the Punisher, Aristides Aquino, numbered to a nice low 25 for Cincinnati. Base relic to 395. It is Mitch Hanager for the Mariners. And behind that, we have got an Aaron Hicks to 395 for the New York Yankees. And then a Jed Lowry autograph. So there's one for your Mets to 299. Jed Lowry. Definitely got a little, whatever you want to call it, chipping a little bit of a bag corner, lower left and upper right, to a lesser extent on the other two corners. But it's still minor, but you know how I am. If I see it, I call it. So, Yeah, Charles, the players said no to the latest proposal, which was the 60 games and, and their 100% prorated salary. Uh, Major League Baseball said they would roll back the 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 DH for next season and something else they had in there for next season. Might have been expanded playoffs. I don't know. Something that I guess they thought the players didn't want. So they said, hey, we'll take that out. We'll, you'll still get your 100% and we'll play 60 games. And now players rejected it today with a massive vote against 33 to 5. 
So some, again, edge and corner things. Shane Bieber and the Indians. So, of course, you know, that's your 30 teams. And then they have some, like, at-large committee members that vote in there, too. So A.J. Puck and the Oakland A's with a base relic to 395. And then a, a Yamamoto numbered to 25 for the Marlins. Now, you may have noticed a couple of our packs had an extra relic hit in there. That is actually sort of, um, that's a case thing too. There are a certain number of boxes in every case that give you an extra hit. And we got lucky and found a couple of those. What's technically guaranteed per box, I believe, is just the three. And then some packs you will get the fourth one. Mitch Hanager, that is numbered to 299 for the Mariners. And then we have a Bo Bichette base relic to 395 for the Blue Jays. Followed by oh, Mike Toshman to 299 for the New York Yankees. All right, here we go. Next to last box. Oh, look at the top of that. Oh, sweet. Ricky Henderson. I like that. That is numbered to 60 for the Oakland A's. Of course, the A's have come out of everything so strongly all year. And that Ricky Henderson, though, that's nice. Very, very nice. And we have Michael Baez, Padres. It is numbered to 395. And we did get a case hit. I see it coming. I also see a little chipping on that lower left-hand corner. It's minor, but it's there. A silver signings, Josh Hader, numbered to 10 for the Milwaukee Brewers. It's a nice-looking card with really unfortunate beat-up corners, all four corners with chipping, unfortunately. That kind of makes me unhappy because the rest of that card is just beautiful. And if that were just a white background, we would never even notice that. But because it's dark colored, every little imperfection stands out on it. All right, here we go. What we got in our last box, last box mojo. First up brings us, oh, Tim Raines to 25 for the White Sox. Wow, we had a Ricky Anderson. Now we get a Tim Raines. Again, we've got some um, shipping and edge wear. wear. That's good when it, it wore. <laughs> yeah, so his signature doesn't show up as well with that copper color ink as Josh Hader's did, but it's still a really nice looking card. The Atlanta Braves with some Dion Sanders numbered to 25. And that's a pretty good looking relic as well, the top one in particular. And last hit we see, it is Mr. Bobby Bradley, Cleveland Indians, 299. And same deal, minor edge stuff happening there, corners particularly. All right, so there's our half case of Tier 1. As we always do, we will recap it, and then I will roll back through shipping information, etc. one final time. I can't believe anybody would have missed it by now, but you never know. <laughs> Somebody could be watching it on tape later. Tape delay, if you will. The uploaded version. Maybe they scroll to the end, so it could be useful still to somebody. To 25 for the Braves. It is Dion Sanders. And number two, 385. That is Baez for the Padres. To 385, Mr. Bo Bichette and the Blue Jays. Or I'm sorry, 395. 395, not 385. I'm blind as bad, aren't I? The Oakland A's and A.J. Puck, 395. Aaron Hicks, base relic, Yankees, 395. Mitch Hanager, Mariners, base relic, 395. Gio Urshela, Yankees, 395, base relic. And a Josh Hader, base relic, 395 for the Brewers. Now our autograph stack. It is Bobby Bradley to 299 for the Indians. 
We've got a nice little Tim Raines here to 25. That one is out for the White Sox. A silver signings uh, case hit numbered to 10 is Josh Hader in the Milwaukee Brewers. Sweet little Ricky Henderson hit there for the Oakland A's. Ricky was numbered to 60. Mike Toshman, 299, New York Yankees. Mitch Hanager, 299, Mariners. Yamamoto to 25 for the Marlins. Shane Bieber, 299, Indians. Jed Lowry, 299, the Mets. Aristides Aquino, number 225 for my little Cincinnati Reds. And then you have Paul DeYoung, 299, St. Louis Cardinals. And we started it off with this nice hit to 25. That is Vlad Guerrero Sr. And once again, former Montreal Expos are the current Washington Nationals. And cards always stay with their franchise, so all Expos go to the Nationals. All right, that wraps that up. Now let's take another little peek at the spreadsheet. If anybody missed it earlier, yes, I know. We've seen it a lot, haven't we? Let's start here first. Here's what's coming up in the days ahead. Tomorrow night, it's Diamond Kings Baseball. is a 12-box inner case. An inner case is simply two 12-box cases put in a larger box. Panini's weird like that. So it's a 12-box case of Diamond Kings tomorrow night. Wednesday night, clearly authentic. It is a new release. We'll break a 20-box case of that along with three boxes of Sage Aspire Football. Has some good stuff in it this year, so check out the listing description. Get more info on that. And then we'll break a loose box of National Treasures Basketball all on Wednesday night. Thursday night, it's going to be Prism Baseball. Half case break. Back half of a case that we started on release night. Friday night, three new releases. Most of them take a long time to break. <laughs> it's going to be a long haul on Friday night. That will probably be a three-hour break, I would expect. I mean, it could even go 15 minutes over or something. I don't know. I think it's going to be pretty long. So as such, we'll start a little bit early, 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific. We're going to open a 12-box case of Leaf Valiant Baseball a 12-box inner case of Legacy Football, and a six-box full case of Series 2 Jumbo Baseball. In the case of both Legacy and Series 2, Veteran Base does not ship to the teams. It is a separate bidding category in both of those breaks, and you'll find more details about that, of course, in the listing description. Saturday and Sunday will both be off nights. Shipping for the final time. If you missed it earlier, here's the 411. If you got one of the jerseys tonight, it's going to be out the door and on the way to you sometime within the next seven days. Free stuff always goes within a seven-day window. If you got skunked in the jersey break, you are entitled to a uh, consolation card. It is simply a loose, used, random, assorted trading card for your team. And typically would be held and sent with your next package because it is a free shipping break. If you would like it sent sooner, I will be happy to do so. But you just have to let me know. Jump into uh, eBay and send me a message and I'll take care of it for you. Paid shipping breaks tonight, Court Kings and Tier 1. If you got skunked in either one of those, meaning you did not pull a card of any sort, base or otherwise, you will still get a package in the mail. It will go out when the rest of the break goes out because it's a paid shipping break. And it will have your consolation card or cards in it. So everybody's going to get a package with something in it. Should go out the door approximately Friday. As always, if the week goes very, very well, maybe it goes out a day later. If the week uh, has a little bump in the road that I'm not expecting, could go a day later. That's why it always says plus or minus a day. But Friday... Friday is the target uh, for Court Kings and Tier 1 to get out the door. And that, I guess, has got me wrapped up for tonight. So, um, as always, I, did I not have that up on the screen? Probably didn't. As always, I appreciate you all being here. Uh, I hope that you have uh, enjoyed the break. I hope I'll see you again sometime soon. If I, you know, come, come keep me company, really, right? Even if you're not in the break, I always like having company. So come back and see me, spend some time with me, hang out, chat with me. I'm, I'm happy doing that too. So enjoy your week ahead. Stay safe and happy and healthy. I will be back at it tomorrow night and hopefully I'll see you then or